from the LA's top bananas, Glenn Walker studio in Los Angeles, California. This is KTLA 5 Live. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. I'm Samantha Cortese. You can find us on social media at KTLA 5 Live on Instagram and in the Facebook group where we talk to you over the next couple of hours. We so appreciate you finding your way into that group, by the way. So much fun. Oh, look at um, this. How are you doing, Robert Special Puente? Group. Hi, guys. I'm doing very well. Gila. I'm Robert Puente. I just robbed 101. And yes, we just got a new guest right now. Aguila from the from the news from the what's up? She works act in the actual for the big boy studio. Just came there. to hang. Let's see. Okay. All right. Can see her here. I don't oh, know. you can't oh, you see. Have her. To move, oh, you have to wave at the camera right above your head there. Oh, no, we oh, don't see oh. her there. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's <laughs> just, okay. just shy. Just shy. <laughs> uh, Facebook group is popping, by the way. Uh, after we told people to oh. go. And that was my fat, my, my, my fault there. You're fat? My fat, yeah. Fat. Okay, fat. Okay, fat. <laughs> Listen, fat. Listen, fat. <laughs> Listen, fat. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, classic masked jokes. Or vaxxed or masked. There are so many good ones I that know. you can use. I know. Um, find the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash KTLA5 live. After we were chatting with you yesterday, telling you to go join it, many of you did, and we appreciate that. Very fun. So, Makes it so nice. Yeah. So nice. So appreciative. Yes, Robert. Uh, very good. L.A. will have a new mayor soon. President Biden ready to nominate L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti as his ambassador to India. Mayor Garcetti will term out pretty soon, I think, next year, right? So do you think we'll have a mayor pro tempore? Mm. The Associated Press says Garcetti will be among the ambassadors announced by the president as early as next week. Neither the White House nor Garcetti's office is commenting. Three things could happen if Garcetti leaves early. There could be a special election. Council President Neri Martinez could be chosen to serve as acting mayor. Wow. Or the council could name an interim mayor to finish Garcetti's term. I should have just read the script because my questions would have been answered. I love that picture of him in a, in a suit. He is like a, a child in a candy store. That picture of Which him one? at the Oscars, it's, it's coming up. Oh, in the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah. it's the Oscars. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Uh, he, he just looks happy as a clam, you know? His daughter looks that so one, forlorn. Right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like, it's great. I bet Gil Garcetti looks at that as like, I remember my boy. Oh, my yeah. boy was a little boy. He looked just like that. Um, some people on social media say um, it's polarized, right? Some people oh. are saying, see you later. <laughs> right. uh, some people are saying, what are you doing? We're mm. so broken right now. Mm. I thought you weren't going to leave. Well. We'll have no. to see. And he has tweeted since this leaked. Um, he tweeted about the violence in San Jose, which we'll get to eventually on the show. But um, he has not quite yet acknowledged this. I saw very recently imminent uh, the uh, appointment. Yes. And now there's a recall for Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon. That's kicking into high gear today. And organizers held a news conference to kick off the public circulation of recall petitions and the signature gathering effort. KTLA's Wendy Birch is in downtown LA with the latest. That's right, the recall campaign against District Attorney George Gascon officially kicked off today. Now campaign organizers are going to need 578,000 signatures from registered voters to get the recall on the ballot. And today they got their first three. One of them was from the top lawman in the county. With one signature, L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva made it very clear that he does not support the man in charge of prosecuting the criminals his deputies put behind bars. The campaign to recall L.A. District Attorney George Gascon is officially underway less than six months after he took office. This is a grassroots effort by victims, by law enforcement, because we are going to fight against you. And I'm going to tell you right now, George Gascon, your days are numbered. Opponents of the progressive DA criticize his ban on the use of the death penalty, of sentencing enhancements, and ending prosecution of juveniles as adults. You, George Gascon, have put criminals before victims. I truly believed you have confused your role as a district attorney and a public defender. But perhaps one of the most outspoken critics of the current DA is a former one. Steve Cooley, who held the office for 12 years, says what he's seen take place in the last five months is very distressing. What this man has done to this great office in such a short amount of time is unbelievable. The, the injustice he is doing and the way he's putting people in harm's way in this county with his policies, it's incredible. The only solution. 
is to recall this guy. Within an hour of the kickoff campaign, Gascon's office released a response in the form of statements of unwavering support for the district attorney from community, labor, and political leaders, and the co founder of the LA chapter of the Black Lives Matter movement, who says LA finally has a DA who will hold law enforcement accountable. Political observers will tell you that recall campaigns are often an uphill battle. They are expensive and they are very labor intensive. And there are those that will say that voters will take into consideration the short amount of time that Gascon has actually even been in office. Still, those who are behind this recall campaign are undeterred. They believe they can easily get the more than half a million signatures they need on the ballot before October 27th. We'll keep you updated, but for right now, that is the very latest here in downtown Los Angeles. I'm Wendy Birch, and I'll send it back to you. San Diego businessman John Cox is being sued over his use of a 1,000 pound bear oh, in no. his campaign for California governor. A bad boy breaking indeed. San Diego animal activists filed a lawsuit in San Diego County Monday asking a judge to order Cox to immediately suspend any further public appearances with the animal. Cox has appeared with the bear in his campaign to recall Governor Gavin Newsom. The Animal Protection and Rescue League says his campaign stop in San Diego earlier this month violated a city ordinance. The group also says the bear was drugged. The suit says ongoing appearances are illegal under federal law. The Cox campaign denies wow. the bear was drugged or abused and, the, and say that they will continue to use the bear at political events until a judge orders it to stop. It's really unfortunate because it is super adorable. You know, like, he, like the way he was waving his arms and stuff. But yeah, this is not a circus. You, you, you used to see stuff like that at a circus and stuff where they do tricks with the bear and stuff whatnot. Um, what a display of strength though, and what a quick way to get it diminished. Um, by an animus, animal activist uh, rights group come and say, I guarantee no, no. you he does not care what that animal activist no. rights group also, says. Also, I love Robert's like quick commentary wrap up of the whole thing. Of, of it. It's very good, that's good. Um, as governor, if he gets elected, maybe he'll swiftly come out and say, I'm going to dismantle this whole animal activist rights group. I don't think he has, that's not, I don't think it's a government <laughs> organization. And more than that, it's like, this is exactly, he wants this fight. He sort of is the anti-California establishment, and this feels very California establishment. Yeah, now, yeah. whether or not they are right, I don't, we don't have to say. Uh, but it is, it's funny, though, to think that, like, Robert, you're saying this isn't a circus, and I would say, no, California politics is indeed a circus. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> After very all, nice. Yep. Very nice. Echo Park has now been cleaned up, fixed up, back open. It's been two months nearly since Echo Park was closed for renovations. City of LA had to shut down the park and move out hundreds of homeless people for the work to begin. They also cleaned out 700 pounds of biological waste. Why do we say it that way? <sighs> we know what it is. You know what? It, it's not like biohazard COVID tests that they're talking about. It's not little little bags of. of COVID swabs. I guess. Well, in addition to the 700 pounds of biological waste, 35 tons of trash were cleaned out. Repairs and long overdue renovations were done. People will see improvements to the playgrounds, restrooms, boathouse. Irrigation was improved as well. The city approved 1.1 million for those projects. There was a lot of controversy over clearing out the hundreds of homeless in the park. The city says most of those people are taking advantage of transitional housing. There are now surveillance cameras in and around the park for increased security. Wow, what it a sight! Like, uh, what a sight for uh, Venice Beach if it was to be cleaned in that same manner. Yes, and it was like um, I think of Stagecoach or Disney, not even Disneyland, but at the beginning of an event when people line up at a gate and then rush through when it opens. There was a woman holding a baby at the front of the gate at Echo Park today when it opened a few minutes ago, and when they opened the gate, she like ran in. I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> See the see the swallows. <laughs> yeah. By the way, the swans will be working the boat the boats. Oh, uh, Lynette little paddle boats. Today. I love those, those would be back in in use. That's such a great hang. They used to have a little piano out there. I wonder if that's still there. Oh, you I could have know. played the. You know what I'm talking about? No. They had like this project. I don't know what it was, but people put pianos all over public places in California. And so it was fun to like, go up and play. They had one at Union Station, one in Santa Barbara. They I'm sure that didn't last. I can't. Well, I don't. Pianos are pretty resilient. I think that's why they chose them, but. I don't know. Governor Gavin Newsom is expected to announce new incentives for California's vaccination program today. I'm telling you, you just wait long enough. Who knows what free stuff you'll get? California public health officials say coronavirus vaccination rates are dropping, and that's why the state's rolling out incentive programs to get more people to get the shots. It's unclear what those incentives will look like, but governor plans to give more details 
Later in LA County, the state's goal is to get as many people vaccinated ahead of the June 15th full reopening. So looks like free stuff is coming. We don't know what yet, but uh, if you're on the if you're on the hook there, I hope that they get to the point two months now where they're so desperate they're like, here's a car, student loans forgiven. Yeah, I, I was thinking more down the lines of a gift card to Arby's. That's Curly fries, only reason they're open. Now you, all know it. Robert, uh, you weren't so, so, on, so on the fence about it, but uh, you're saying some curly fries and horsey sauce would put you over the, the edge. Horsey sauce, yeah, I, I would be running to that CVS now. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're like of, injected into me. <laughs> no, sauce. That's yeah. Uh, Fourth of July tradition returns to the Rose Bowl this year. I feel like I was just writing the story about how it was going virtual. Yeah. I remember specifically writing that last year and look how far we've come. The annual America Fest went virtual last year because of the pandemic, but with our state set to fully reopen on what date? June 15th. It's in every script. The Rose Bowl Spectacular will take place 19 days later. The announcement was made during last night's Pasadena City Council meeting. Beginning in the early afternoon of July 4th, a free event will be outside the stadium on the lawn area. A ticketed event will be inside with live entertainment. Fireworks show begins at 9 p.m. Remember, you know, you talk about how weird that is. I was thinking about this today. Our boss, I think when we first started working remotely last year, said, if we're still doing this by July 4th, yeah. we got real problems. Yeah, because I was asking for a day off. I was like, oh, I think we'll be over. I want to go out. Yeah. And um, here we are. But we're back. I sat with him today and I had a meeting with him outside. Uh, they have gotten rid of all of the patio furniture because oh. of the... Sam Rubin's oh, backyard oh, oh, right, bonanza right, right. Yes. earlier today. Yes. And um, uh, the green screen is extravaganza, the mm -hmm. drive-in. Um, but uh, we sat there and, and just, f we're, both, we're both fully vaccinated and we're outside, uh -huh. far away from each other. And we were like, I'm gonna take the mask off for a second. And, and we did. Was that? And we, we was like, it was like, I forgot what kissed. Olsen's face looked like. <laughs> I kissed. I was waiting for some sort of. And then know. we kissed. Was that? A big moment for you? Yeah, it was. Wow. Well, for me and for my boss, mm -hmm. you know. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's got we'll a nice get you chin. We'll a little kid scoop later He's to share nice... <laughs> with one of the little okay. spoons. Okay. Hit the rules, you know. But I'm just saying, it's weird to think about that in context of him saying, "Here's we're going to be in real trouble if we're still doing this July 4th." And now here we are, almost now July 4th the next year, yeah. being like, "Can we do this?" Oh my gosh. Of course you can. <clears throat> I, I think this is a what's wrong. It could be a no, Robert. Uh, chef do surprise. Are we doing? We're doing one of those. Okay. Yeah. Um, how about a um what? Sure. Yeah. So the deal what? is I had this as a what's wrong with people and then there were so many other what's wrong with people <laughs> that I put later in the show, I thought it was too much. Ah. So my bad, but just in case you were wondering, two men have been arrested after allegedly stealing several bars of gold at LAX. 38-year-old Marlon Moody and 35-year-old Brian Benson. Ooh. Keep, yeah, uh-huh. Both of Los Angeles and employees of a cargo handling company have been charged with conspiracy and theft after being accused of stealing four gold bars. It happened last month during a layover at LAX from Australia to New York. The box of gold was valued at $56,000 and if convicted, the men would each face up to 15 years in federal <gasps> prison. Was it worth it? I just wanna know, was she worth it? How do you come across that? I just, I just wondering like, where do these gold bars come across? And how do you think you're not gonna get away with it? Is that yeah. other thing? What? Oh, like, Morons. Oh, the temptation. Like, if you're seeing that, and it's like, it makes me think of the, the movie Ghost Ship. If you guys ever saw it, that there's like a bunch <laughs> of gold bars into the but ship. But I'm buckling up for whatever ride we're about to go on. <laughs> Hit me, bud. I bad. have seen Ghost Ship, actually. And did all those with the gold empty pool? bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, hate oh, I have too. Yeah. It was one of those middle the school movies. movies. Yes, yeah. on during it, the day. That was a good old makeout movie for <laughs> sure. Ew, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you wouldn't I mean, go to the movie theater? This is like the era where people would go to the movie theater and make out. First it was of all, like I was not allowed to go to the theater until I was like 30. Oh, 30? <laughs> until 30. I was 30? Uh, but that seemed like a grosso movie, not a make out movie. Make out movie was like 
walk to remember. I don't know. I, I yeah, I <laughs> guess that's book. also a terribly yeah. sad movie to make out to, isn't I guess. it? I don't Both know. If that's a good I feel like the Italian Job was the make out there, movie. That's better. That's, Ghost yeah. Ship is gross. Like yeah. you see flesh and stuff. Darkness Falls maybe was another one of the same. Remember the Tooth Fairy movie? Remember oh, that one? I'll tell yes. you which one's coming yes, to mind for me. Yeah, let's hear. White it. noise. Awful, oh. awful film. Like so, it's so bad. It's not even good bad. It's just bad. Um, Finding Nemo and no. Fast and the Furious. No, please. Too Fast, Too Furious. Also, so funny, a makeup movie called Too Fast, Too Furious. <laughs> it was. It was oh. embarrassing. Who thinks? The Italian job for me is the same thing. I paid to see that movie. I had no idea what happens yeah. in it. Big I was fish. assuming they drive around. <laughs> Big Fish! I never saw it because I didn't actually go to the movie. movie too. Finding Nemo. How young were oh, you? I was so mad. I Because you wanted to see it that. It's a I was kids. The movie. There's probably kids in the movie. I was theater. so mad. It was like a, let me whisper something to you. And then it was like a, and I'm like, ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no! I was, like, thir I was like 13, forever. maybe younger, and I went on a date with this girl. And I had never kissed a girl before. I was probably younger, probably like 12. And I'd never kissed a girl. We went on this date to a movie and I tried to put my arm around her. She's like, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no thank you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> no just, thank you. Uh, just, At least she said something no. nice or like. Yeah, know, she wasn't polite. like, ew. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Robert, ghost ship. <laughs> Those gold bars, that's all I gotta say. The temptation. Uh, it's good that they got caught Am though. I thinking of 13 ghosts? No, I think the ghost ship one is right where the, the, go, the sh spoiler alert, the ship's haunted yeah. and they can okay. never get off of it and yeah. they have, they're cursed because they went after pirate gold, right, So Robert? much gold. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Do you so. like the way it feels? <laughs> <laughs> only from one particular place, though. I, want, I only get my gold from one place. Though. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Roslyn <laughs> Capital. It's Robert Duvain over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now it's a what am I watching? Whoa. What? Whoa. Could have been worse, though, I'll tell you that <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this is made for one of my lives. Oh, this is no. made for Oh, please! Get me down! A parachute has suffered only minor injuries, relax, after becoming entangled in power lines in Lake Elsinore. That was gnarly. Oh, uh, gnarly. Gnarly experience up there. It was the scene shortly after 11 a.m. yesterday in the area of Mission Trail and Vine Street. Facebook group, tell me what 100 block that is. The man dangled 30 feet off the ground. SoCal Edison workers removed the chute from the lines without turning off electricity in the area. Oh, good. I'm glad that this oh, man's near death experience wow. didn't inconvenience anyone for five minutes. The parachutist was treated at a local hospital for leg injuries. Ah, man, though, you gotta, gotta think, like, could have been, could have been horrific. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Lucky dude. That video, though, of him hanging there and then giving us. A, a, <laughs> I don't want to laugh because I know he got a little hurt. A little hurt, but he ate the piece. He was like, I'm piece. good, I'm good. Because you're a thrill seeker if you're doing that in the first place. Or sure. it was a date that went real bad. Oh. And it was like, I told you I didn't want to do that. Should have gone to see Ghost Ship. <laughs> <laughs> I should have gone. Should have gone to see Ghost Ship, man. <laughs> so many bad movies. Oh, man. A new study shows Americans might not be as prepared for the great outdoors as they think they are. Oh, no. Even with a parachute. According to the survey by one poll, on behalf of Avocado Green Mattress. <laughs> Oh, we're not even, these guys aren't even trying. What are we doing? You better get a free mattress out of this. Uh, was it made out of avocados? On behalf of Avocado Green Mattress, many Americans feel confident they could survive in the wilderness for more than a week. <clears throat> Unfortunately, when it came down to specifics, Many seem less prepared than assumed. How did they test this? <laughs> Only about 17% of respondents said they were very confident they could start a fire with a flint. 14% they were confident they could identify edible plants and berries. The survey also showed that last year gave many Americans a newfound appreciation for nature. I'd probably die in my first 16 hours, I would say. <laughs> Why? I would take 16 minutes if we were going to be making it interesting there. It's... I, two what? weeks these people are 
Have you ever Very tried it? Confident just... people. One yeah. of your one of your favorite ideas of all time is to take Robert Camping Absolutely. and film it. Absolutely, still would love to do it. I think it's such a great idea. Yeah. I'd just be complaining the whole time. I know. A video of complaints. That's what that It'd would be. be. Just like well, here. Let's do it then. <laughs> yeah, even better. We'd just be outside. We would get our best Larry David Robert, <laughs> right? The, everything's a complaint. Mm -hmm. huh, that's but funny. You you get, but you know you enjoy it. You eat the. Uh, you eat that, huh? You're mm -hmm. gonna eat that. Mm -hmm. Maybe well, just having, some s'mores sounds fun, but th that's it. You just listen. We just make s'mores in the backyard. Having a polyamorous, or listen up, Robert. Having a poly relationship seems to be increasing in popularity. A new survey found a surprising number of Americans are looking for it. All of it, all the options, all of them. Polyamory is the Robert. practice of having <laughs> multiple romantic relationships simultaneously, with the consent of all involved. Not just having a mistress on the side. Look at the lower third. Am I not gonna be dying? We heard. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you for showing this me and that. I'm sure, all of everyone will be happy to see. Researchers at Chapman University and the University. Look at of... it! Our worlds combined. Wait Chapman a minute. and the University, University of, of Indiana, Indiana isn't. IU. It's no, not no, no, U no, no, of no. I. It's, no. It, well, there's University of Indianapolis, but it's Indiana University. Who wrote this? <laughs> I don't trust this. Found that 11% of Americans had had a poly relationship. Whether we've all had, I mean, whether the truth you were in on it, <laughs> <laughs> we've all kind of been in one. <laughs> whether or not we knew. Yep. Uh, about a fifth of the respondents say they'd like to be in one, but more than 20% who have previously been in one said they were too possessive of one of their partners to ever do it again. Men, interestingly, were more likely than women to want polyamorous uh, relationships. I'm sorry, no. man. Yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> there's a word. I, I don't have it right in front of me, but, but there's a word where it's like you basically confined to uh, what, like a definition of whatever defines you in that moment. So say you're in a relationship and that relationship is okay with becoming polyamorous, then great, you're polyamorous. But then you're suddenly with another person and that person's not okay with it, then you're monogamous. So it's easy to be very liquid and move back and forth. So it's not something that's locked in stone where if you are polyamorous, it's like, you know, it's, it's not like a sexuality where that, that okay. defines you. It's so a I, sword. So I just... <laughs> Excalibur. You can be very liquid and not locked in stone. I know. I, hey, I, could, I got a visual. Set in stone. Just yeah, so yeah, much yeah. of it. I kind of figured it out. I, I what figured he was talking it out. About. I get what you're saying, and I. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin just messaged us and said, stop him. <laughs> For your own good, sir. All right. All right. It okay. never ends well. I have yet to see a relationship where it's successful and long lasting other than on TLC, which that even ended eventually. In so. my very limited experience, I've never been in one, but I've had, have had friends and people in our social groups who have tried it and like friends of, of people who knew who tried it. Yes. And it always feels like one person really wants it yes. and the other person is just like, okay with it. Because they like that person <laughs> They like that so person much. enough that they'll, they they'll yes, tolerate exactly. it. And I think that that's a yucky thing. And they, right. I'm sure that there's not situations like that, but it does seem like that inevitably is what happened, at least in these two situations that I'm thinking of. Yeah. And, and I don't, I could never, I like, man, I could, I couldn't, I could, Why I could are barely. Why questioning that? I don't, I don't know. Just, you think I could have a I can hardly have a, a non-poly, I can hardly, hardly have an amorous, <laughs> a, monogamous. a monogamous relationship, <laughs> let alone a polyamorous relationship. Right. I could, I don't know, I'm not a cheating type, I know people are, and that's like, they have <laughs> like the ability, no, I think some people have, they have the ability to do that. And yeah, I, once I always. I, um, I can't, they can't, it's, it's just, I would, they do it, it on House of Cards. Me. It would eat me up. Just, yeah, that worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Is it an evolved way of thinking? I don't know. That's yet to be um, determined. We'll see what happens, what the future holds, and uh, if this continues to evolve and uh, grow more over the years. And I'd like to take this opportunity to wish my husband a happy wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> He's not watching, but... All happy right. anniversary. <laughs> Is she watching? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All righty. It's time, Sam. You gotta fill in for Bobby. Today. I will. Okay. Here she comes. Don't make her hurdle. It's Sam's Big Daily Sports <laughs> Minute. Great. So far, Stadium is planning to kick off the NFL season with fans in the stands at full capacity. The LA Rams made an announcement on Twitter. It's a turnaround from last season when the team was playing to no one. But now fans can once again support the team as more Californians are getting vaccinated. No one is required to show a negative COVID test or oh. vaccination, but those who don't must wear a mask during the game. The opening follows Governor Newsom's push for a statewide vaccination program. 
He spoke more about that, and you can see it at ktla.com. Uh, I'm just excited to go. Mm. I, I want to see Herbert. I got to see him play in, at the Rose Bowl as a duck, and I can't wait to watch him as a charger. All court right. side? I know they don't call it that, but. Yep, court side. Field side? Field side. What do yes. they call it? Front in row? Stands? No, know. I'm talking about when, you're, when you get real good seats in football. Well, you're on the field, on the but field? I wouldn't yeah. be on the field. 50 yard seems line like, seats. Seems maybe? like you don't like them that much. I would try <laughs> to get off the field. Happy anniversary. Uh, the Lakers <laughs> coming alive in Western Conference playoff series against the Suns. They went to the halftime break up 53 to 47. There's LeBron. Then the Lakers exploded at the start of the third quarter with a 10 and 1 run. Anthony Davis passing the mark of 1,000 career playoff points, but the Suns came back in the fourth quarter. In the final, Lakers up six. LeBron James seals the deal. 23 points for King James. AD had 34 points. Lakers even the series up, 109 to 102 the final. Suns will head back to Stable Center with the series level at 1-1. And that is your Big Daily Sports Minute. Very good. For uh, more content for you, your wife, your husband, and your wife's husband, we've got content on the other end of this break. <laughs> Two minutes wife's and 30 husband. seconds. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. Get on that Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash KTLA5Live. Tell us why polyamorous relationships don't work out for you. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Just kidding, don't do that.